You see, the thing is, I didn't think what I had to say about my experiences of lockdown would really be that interesting. Things change for me, not really that much. I live a pretty ordinary, straightforward life, so why broadcast it? Anyway, I've been persuaded that in a sort of everyday vox pop documentary fashion, the sum total of all our experiences can amount to a sort of social record of Hathsage in 2020. So here's my little contribution. As I said, things didn't change that much for me in lockdown when it started back in March. I am a retired graphic designer. My, my wife works four days a week as a special needs teacher. My son was still living at home. My daughter was at uni in Aberystwyth. The big thing to take from that a lot is that my son Edward is 23 years old and autistic. In July 2019, he finished college in Wakefield and moved back home full time. As he needs round the clock supervision, I naturally became his full time carer. As you know, a teacher's job is more than just school hours, and Liz, my wife, has almost as much to do at home as she does in school and so it was fortunate that I was around and able to look after her Ed. When lockdown started the household dynamics did change in two respects. Liz had to work from home and so took up residence in our home office and Georgia, our daughter, came home from ABBA to study and remotely sit in the remaining modules of her second year course. So there were more people in the house, but mostly it was just Ed and me as we were. So what happened? Well, Edward enjoys walking in and around our beautiful village and going to cafes and visiting the occasional shop, providing he can buy something to eat. And so this carried on much as before, without the cafes and shops. And with the exception that Liz and occasionally Georgia were able to come with us now and then. As the weather improved, these family outings became lengthier and included bigger and better picnics. Together we discovered many more new routes on this vast network of footpaths we have around this beautiful part of the Hope Valley. One thing to note, due to the lack of traffic, the walks became beautifully quiet. And most times, all you could hear was birdsong. <laughs> One of the definite benefits of lockdown. Uh, the other change for me was that I no longer did the weekly shop as an asthmatic and just short of my three score years and ten, I was deemed vulnerable and so Liz had to do it instead. So that was something I missed during lockdown, the weekly visit to Aldi and Sainsbury's and especially Sainsbury's Cafe. These were the highlights folk, I told you I didn't leave a, a very exciting life. The other thing I could do was uh, work, still work on my uh, allotment, uh, which was more productive than ever. Uh, so with every minus comes a plus. It's been a good year for the allotments. In the end, I reckon that playing by the coronavirus rules in a gorgeous place like Hathersage is really not much of a hardship. Uh, I did feel for those city dwellers hunkered down in bed sits and high rise flats and no outdoor space, let alone a garden. Sure, we missed out on a family holiday in 2020. Uh, I miss playing Grand Green Bowls with my uh, mates from the bowling club at the end of the road. Uh, and walking football for that matter. Missed that. And we all missed visiting the famous outdoor Hathersid swimming pool, which we used to do quite a lot. But on balance, Missing out on these few pleasures for 
a few months, it's not exactly life-threatening. And it did mean we joined fully in the national effort to diminish the pandemic. I know others had a difficult or unusual time of it, but as you can see, lockdown for us was just a different way of living. Anyway, thanks for listening. I hope I haven't been too boring.